mentoring and organizations matter. And let's talk about role models for a minute. Um, Karen, um, why don't you say something about the ways in which you think role models matter and the work that you've done to create role models at um, your university? Sure, Dr. Blank, I'd be yeah. happy to. First of all, I'd, if I could, I, yeah. I'd like to congratulate my colleague champions for being here today. I, I've been impressed with learning about everything that's been going on around the country on the local efforts, and it's really been just wonderful to hear, hear all the stories. I also like to say that, uh, you know, there's a, it's a real pleasure to be here, and I, I thank the White House for inviting me here. Um, you know, I'm here today to represent the academic side of Penn State. I know you've been hearing a lot of stories about my institution over the last weeks, but I want you to know there's a, there's a lot of good things going on at Penn State, and I'm working closely with my colleagues there, and one of the efforts that we're working on very hard is to attract women into engineering in particular. So in 2009, uh, about 20 percent of the baccalaureate degrees went to engineering, uh, went to women in engineering. Uh, in my particular field, which, ha which happens to be mechanical engineering, we're up around 10 percent. So we have very low statistics and we have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. The program we started at Penn State is a student organization called Engineering Ambassadors. And, and this is a very vibrant organization. We have about 40 women, primarily women. We have some men as well in the organization who we have given very, uh, we have educated with advanced communication skills and advanced leadership skills to go across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and talk to uh, high school students mm -hmm. in the science and math classes. It's important that you put the right role model, I think, in front mm -hmm. of these students. And a person like me who's relatively old um, <laughs> is not necessarily the role model that is the right role mm -hmm. model to put in front mm -hmm. of the students. But our students go into these classrooms and they're incredibly excited about engineering and they use the messages from the National Academy of Engineers uh, changing the conversation and they promote those messages in, in the high school classes to, to deliver their excitement about engineering. In particular, they use the message an engineer uh, makes a world of difference and engineering contributes to the health, happiness and safety of our everyday lives. So these students are, are I'd say intensely coached and they're the right role models to put in front of the high school students. In 2011, they talked to over 5,000 students, um, some parents and high school students, about the excitement of engineering. Um, so that's been, you know, one impact of this particular program, which has primarily been on the high school students and the parents and, and the teachers. But the other impact of the program that we're seeing, which we believe is equally as important, is these advanced leadership skills and advanced communication skills that we've given our students. They really have developed, you know, it's, it's quite easy for them to go in front of audiences of 500 students and talk about their work. They're excited about it. They're excited to talk about it. Um, in addition, on the leadership skills, we've seen these students become leaders in all of our student organizations on campus and just doing things that we, we would never have expected them to do in, in terms of showing real leadership. They've gone into uh, their internships and uh, in their early careers and, and we're seeing them become leaders in industry as well. So with this program, I, I have to mention a few people because I'm, I'm not uh, the sole per person who, who established this program. It's important you have leadership, the support of leadership at a university, and I'd like to express my thanks to our dean, Dave Wormley, as well as our associate dean, Renata Engel, for supporting this program at Penn State to, to uh, really, um, really bring forth these opportunities to our students. The day-to-day -day work for this program has really been done by Melissa Marshall. Her background is in communications, and she's the one who's been coaching our students very well and mentoring our students and really empowering our students to go out and, and talk to these high school students. So she's been just tremendous for, for the program. The program's been so exciting to our industry partners as well. And As a matter of fact, United Technologies Corporation came in and said, wow, these are going to be the next leaders in industry, so we'd like to support this program. And, and that was important for our sustainability pro for sustainability at our universities to make sure we had some corporate support, excuse me, some corporate support. And so Al Brockett, who's the Vice President of Engineering, came in and, and helped support the program uh, to, to get it moving. So, you know, 
I think this program is important because there's a lot of rural areas to Pennsylvania as, a, as in a lot of states. And in those rural areas, um, there's a real unknown as to what engineering is. And so these girls are, these high school girls are hearing the message about engineering from our college students who are, who are very excited about their majors and, and want to tell the world about it. There's also programs that I'd like to mention through professional organizations, particularly my professional organization, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. Uh, they are starting to partner with the Society for Women Engineers, and they're putting in a lot of important programs to also increase the, the diversity by working through K through the working various programs uh, in the K through 12 area. So I sincerely believe that these programs are, are very important. I, I, you know, our engineering ambassadors is about mm -hmm. two years old. So, you know, we're just starting to see the effects of this program, but we really, I really believe that this will lead to more women being interested in the field of Great. engineering. Great. It's like a program that other institutions could think about and, and adopt. Absolutely. 